Welcome back. We have Emily Hope joining us. She's the Education and Public Programs Director at the Kamloops Art Gallery. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for yes. having me. Yes. Uh, Emily contacted me in regard to the fact that on Tuesdays at the Art Gallery, they're having something called the Afternoon Ladies Drawing Program. That's right. Tell me about this. Uh, so. I was inspired by this program that's been happening in New York City for I think about three years. These three artists, uh, Leah Gorin, uh, Julia Rothman and Rachel Cole started do this just with themselves. Um, they're all accomplished illustrators. They wanted to get together on a regular basis and encourage each other to keep making art. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really caught on. You know, they started with um, an Instagram hashtag and then, you know, across the um, the states and the world really folks have decided they wanted to have their own ladies drawing nights mm -hmm. um, And it seemed like a really great time to bring it to the gallery So mm -hmm. on Tuesday afternoons from 3 to 5. It's a drop-in program. It's free uh, We call it the ladies afternoon drawing club. We're not going to turn you around away if you're not a lady <laughs> but um, you know, we'll have uh, some tea like we've got here mm -hmm. and some different art supplies. Uh, we'll have some objects that you can draw from life. For today, I've brought um, my hilarious stretchy severed hand that I got from Tiger Ramen. Okay. Um, drawing from life is a really good way to learn how to draw um, yes. because it teaches you how to turn a three-dimensional object into a two-dimensional object, which is tricky. Did that come in your food? What were we talking about? <laughs> they, they have a little vending machine where you put in a dollar and then a tiny severed oh, limb comes there. in. A, yeah, they're, anyway, I think it's in the washroom. Okay, good to know. I maybe didn't make it into the washroom. So that's what you're going to draw? What we're going to draw. Mm. Yes, I, so I brought one for you as well. So these are uh, water-soluble graphite pencils. Wow. And these things are paintbrushes with a uh, water canister inside. So you can do, you know, a super quick little, we'll just do a little contour drawing of it. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to do something, you know, really beautiful here. I'm just doing, this is what's called a blind contour drawing. So. I kept my eyes on the object and then tried to make my hand move with my eye around the contours of this. And then I end up with this kind of hilarious looking hand shaped thing. And then you can use this guy to paint on and then you'll see it kind of turns into a watercolor drawing. Oh, that's fun. I like watching you do it. I'm not good at this sort of thing. It'll put me off my game. <laughs> It'll put me off my game. You keep going with that one. Okay. So essentially you take what? Is there like a maximum of 20 seats? Is there an instructor? Are you... Yeah, you know, so we've got uh, two folks working at uh, one of our art instructors, Anissa Gill, and one of our teen interns, Kirana Wooters. Um, and they'll set up the space. We can fit about 30 in there. Um, and then we'll have some tea, some, some snacks. And each day we'll focus on one particular skill. Uh, so, for example, we might talk about water cellular graphite, we might talk about pigment markers mm -hmm. and, you know, how you can um, use them in different ways to create different lines and they, anyway. Um, and, you know, we'll have all the supplies laid out. Um, maybe you come and we're doing pigment markers and you're not at all interested in drawing right. with markers. That's fine. We've got lots of supplies. Um, and we want you to have a really great time. We'll talk about some tangible skills, but it's also just about a community building I love exercise. it. I love it. It just seems to me, and I was saying this on the break, that there's so many different painting clubs or ladies painting nights or whatever mm -hmm. that take place around Drink and Draw is another one. I just think it's a great opportunity for people to get out and do something a little bit more organic than plugging in. Yeah, which is absolutely. We'll be talking about in the next segment as well. So yeah, and it's a nice kind of low impact art. Yeah, it's, you don't yeah. need to feel like you have tons of existing talent or skill at art right. making to be able to participate. This exactly. is a really good chance to develop those skills. Yes. If people have supplies, should they bring them in or is it If they want to, to yeah, yeah, that'd be okay. great. Yeah. Say, say you've just discovered schminky watercolors and you think they're the best thing you've ever used yes. and you want to share your passion, yes. bring them in. Okay. We'd, love, we'd love for you to do that. And whereabouts in the art gallery is it? Is it on the main floor there or how do people figure out where it is? Yeah, it's the main floor. It's in our studios, right. which are located uh, just directly behind our admissions desk. Mm -hmm. Just show up, don't reserve. Just show up. This sounds like a fun thing. Thank is you. it already under, underway or does it start tomorrow? Or? It started last week. We okay. had our first event and 30 folks showed up. That's awesome. Which is our max, really. So um, I'm hoping we'll have the same turnout this week. I suspect you might. Yeah. Uh, information's on the screen if you're interested. It's 3 until 5 on Tuesdays. Great opportunity. Socially, you might learn a few things about how to draw properly. And all I do is a really great stick man. So I'm telling you, <laughs> which would not. Thank you for being here, Emily. Thanks so much for having me. Yes, very welcome. Information on the screen if you'd like to learn more, as well as Emily's email address, ehope at camelsartgallery.bc.ca. We're back after a quick break.